It has been a tragic ending to the 100 deadliest days on Utah roads. Six people have died in five separate crashes this Labor Day weekend, including two this morning in Washington County. According to the Utah Highway Patrol, the driver of this Toyota lost control and spun into the path of an oncoming van on State Route 9 in Rockville just after 9 a.m. The two people in the van were injured, while the two adults in the Toyota were pronounced dead at the scene. These fatalities don't affect just families and friends. They, it, the ripple effect is huge. Since Friday, there have also been other fatal accidents in Weber, Box Elder, and San Juan counties, despite troopers putting in 115 extra shifts to keep holiday travelers protected. It's disappointing for us, and especially when we've got so many additional patrols and things out to try and make sure people are safe. So um, we'd like to see things differently. With the clock ticking down on the 100-day span from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day, the Highway Patrol is still tallying the exact numbers but Sergeant Roden says the amount of fatalities has been taking a toll on the troopers who respond and investigate. It's been a tough year on officers. Officers have barely have enough time to recuperate from the, the last major or fatal crash before a lot of times before they have to go handle the next one. So it's tough on them and it, and it does affect them in their lives. The Utah Highway Patrol and the Utah Department of Transportation plan to release the final statistics from the 100 deadliest days on Thursday.